Hey, I'm gonna make hibiscus sangria with you. It's just three ingredients and it's one of my favorite things to bring to parties. All right, the three ingredients, hibiscus tea, chopped fruit, and your favorite red or white wine. So let's go through each one of these. So first hibiscus tea, when you're buying this, you can just check the ingredients and see if the first ingredient is hibiscus flowers, then that's like a hibiscus tea. Sometimes it'll say hibiscus on the front, Sometimes it won't, but the key here is hibiscus is delicious. Uh, and when I do it, I basically take one tea bag for every eight ounces of water, and I brew it with hot water, and then I put it in the fridge to chill. Um, my big secret here is when I have the tea bag, I rip off this paper so that I can just float the tea bags directly right in the hot water. And uh, it's been steeping for about five minutes, so I'm gonna fish these out. The six tea bags because I made six cups of tea. And this is the base of everything, okay? The hibiscus tea. It's gonna go into my pitcher about halfway because then I need some room for my chopped fruit. And I'm using red apple and green apple. Pretty small dice because I like little pieces to float in my glass. So I put that in. I usually do orange too, but I don't have an orange, so we're just doing red apple and green apple. And that looks beautiful already. And if you want to do it without alcohol, you'd stop right there. Just hibiscus tea, chopped fruit, and you're done. But if you want to add alcohol, I'm using one of my favorite red wines. And you just fill it to the top. Chill this, and you have yourself half the calories of traditional sangria and all the flavor. I love this. You've got to go try it. Hibiscus Sangria, one of my favorites. Join me here again next week at The Wow.